food photography is all about heroing those beautiful details that we have in our recipes. And when it comes to editing, we want to find the tools that are going to help us do just that. So in this video, I'm going to look at clarity tools and how we can use them to perfect the details in our image. Hi, I'm Rachel Karanek, professional food photographer, helping you edit incredible photos that look good enough to eat. So it's really important to differentiate between when to use the clarity tool and when to use the structure tool. So with our clarity tool, to use it, it's going to be an adjustment that is applied to the entire image in a more impactful way. So we're going to want to use this when we really want to add depth to the image. And in the reverse, we can also decrease clarity to help us have a soft look. Now, when it comes to the structure tool, we want to really use that for the finer details in our image. When it comes to food photography, that is a really great tool to have in your back pocket to enhance the details in food. So let's use all of those three ideas to edit a photo. So we're going to look at how we can use clarity to enhance the image, also add soft details, and then use structure to really bump up those finer textures in food. So I'm going to bring out our clarity tool and just reset it. And I'm just going to add, you know, quite a bit of clarity so we can see what that looks like to really enhance the edge contrast. And we can see that that is really jumping out at us. So it's adding a little bit of that pop wow factor. The next thing that I want to do is jump into a layer. And I'm going to use these ideas just within a local part of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and just add an adjustment. So let's do a clarity adjustment. And I'm going to take our brush here. Let's just zoom into the image. And you can see at the edge here at the front of the glass, it feels really soft. We've shot this with a macro lens and we have a beautiful like bouquet. So I'm going to just increase the size. Let's pop on our mask. And we're going to want to brush in this area, maybe a little bit here as well. And I'm going to bring the clarity down. As you can see here, just making this adjustment is just making that part of the image feel soft. So you can always use clarity in the reverse way as well. Now, when it comes to structure, if I zoom in yet again, we can look at the really beautiful detail of this mint garnish. So I want to focus just on the garnish and really bring out those details. So what I would do instead of using the clarity adjustment here, I would lean on structure so I could go in. And as you can see, as I can play around, it is really just focusing on the details that we have in the garnish here. So let's take a look again. So just really bringing that up so you can see on screen that this is really playing with those details in the garnish. So if we jump into full screen here and we look at the difference between the two images, you'll notice that the one on the left has our clarity adjustments. And you can see that those details are just enhanced. It pops out of the screen. It has more of that beautiful contrast. Let's zoom in a little so that we can see those details. And I'm going to jump between the two images and you can really see what clarity is doing to our image. So the key takeaway today is to use clarity when you want to have an impact globally on the image and then to jump in to using your structure tool or if you're using Lightroom, that would be your texture tool when you want to enhance those beautiful finer details in your ingredients in your hero dish. If you're ready to take your photos to the next level, you're ready to learn editing and you want to unlock the secrets of Capture One, then make sure to check out my online masterclass, Capture One Magic. If you have any questions on editing or today's video, Make sure to drop me a comment below.